Hello Capricorn and welcome to your soul reading. We are going to talk about your unique magic and power you possess this life journey being born under the Capricorn sun and I just have to say before I uh, turn on the camera to start your reading I was just feeling so much power like you guys are a symbol of power and I also see you guys as the divine mother, the divine father, the king, the queen, the strength and power of your energy because you guys um, have this beautiful balance of knowing when you need to act upon the thoughts of your mind and when you need to act upon the promptings of your heart. And regardless of like emotional connection or personal feelings about something, you guys know how you need to proceed um, in any given situation. Like you know if you need to come from logic or if you need to act from compassion of your heart. Like you guys just know that there's a, a just again, like I see you as the mother and father of humanity, um, the energy of Capricorn and the diligence and the steadiness, the stability of you, um, your ability to, um, you know, follow things through from start to the end. You guys are master builders, master creators, and, um, like I know Pisces is the 12th sign of the Zodiac, but for whatever reason, for you guys, a spirit, and you are my last reading, how perfect is that? Spirit is showing me as like, um, if you want to think of like, you know, a monarchy, like you guys are the king and queens of the lands. And um, that's just metaphorical, obviously, but um, it's like that level of prestige, of evolution, of purity, of strength, of wisdom. Um, right from a, an early age, you guys were probably very uh, responsible. Some of you already um, getting a hustle on to earn some money, to make some money. Um, you know, some of you just so thirsty for knowledge, like you really enjoyed school. Um, you know, it's you guys are just these very responsible energies and it doesn't mean that you're not fun and that you're not you know um, spontaneous and things like that but when we need to be responsible and focused you are when it's time to have fun and enjoy ourselves you're there like you guys just understand the order of things and you know how to get things done and being an earth sign your you know most powerful chakra is your root chakra the earth chakra which is where you connect with mother earth gaia and so you and uh, Mother Earth have a, a special connection and you, you're meant to manifest. You are meant to build a lot, create a lot in the material realm this lifetime as well as be a leadership also. I see you guys um, in like power couple situations where you and your partner are both very successful and accomplished in life. So let's... Uh, pull a card. Um, Saturn is your ruling planet, which just speaks of how wise and responsible you guys are. But um, we're going to pull a card here to see what other planetary influence is strong for you guys this lifetime. Oh, wow. Very interesting. We've got Neptune coming through. And this says your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. So with the Neptunian energy, this is about you uh, dreaming things into reality, Capricorn. Um, if you can dream it, you can build it in this physical realm. Like that is your magic. That is your power. Um, and it's not, it, it's so big. Like, oh, uh, it's hard to, I want to like, I'm stumbling over what I'm trying to say. Like just trying to get it all out. Um, you guys have the imagination, the intelligence, the experience, the wisdom, the spiritual strength, the mental strength, the emotional strength to make things happen. All right. Every sign has a gift, an ability, 
but it's like you guys spirit is showing me as capricorn as like the whole package like perfect balance of all energies and that's why i see you guys as like you know the emperor and empress um the emperor yeah emperor and empress like the highest <clears throat> and um people looking up to you um people coming to you for light for wisdom for help for understanding okay it's here if you can dream it capricorn you can make it happen in this reality never underestimate the ideas that come to you you guys are master builders you are meant for achievement and success this life journey Look at your natal chart and see which um, house Neptune occupies because that's where you have a lot of magic for creation is that area of your life. <clears throat> All right, let's pull a house card to see what other area of your life Spirit would like to uh, talk about and point out. Oh, I, not surprised to see this. Second house. Second house is your assets, your finances, the things you value, Capricorn. Yes, you are meant to have a lot. And, um, you know, many of you are going to build this from your own hands. Some of you will be born into um, very successful families. And it's like you carry on that success. Like you take it a, a step further. So if there's like a family business, family company, you're like the next hand in that and you take it to the next level. Or it could be where you create a family business um this lifetime and it will stay in the family for generations to come but the second house oh my gosh you are meant to be blessed with money with abundance with luxury with a lot of um physical comforts and there's nothing wrong with that you're an earth sign all right and you're meant to be blessed in the earth plane and here it is if you could dream it you're going to make it happen a lot of money making ideas will come to capricorn this lifetime if you have neptune in the second house oh my god you're going to be a millionaire all right so let's see which area of your life um may challenge you interesting we have Taurus which is uh, the ruler of the second house okay so this speed your challenge is um, a couple of different things some of you may be a bit of a perfectionist and it's like no matter the level of success that you achieve it's like it's always got to be more or I could have done it better so some of you you got to be easier on yourself um, you might be a bit of an overachiever okay um, and maybe if you do come from a family of a lot of successful people um, you feel in competition like to keep up to to be really good at something and you just maybe feel like you're not quite as good as this person or that person and that's just not true at all like the level of success that you will achieve in this lifetime is quite high compared to you know um, many other people so challenge in um, you know honoring and appreciating your success and your accomplishment and letting it be good enough for you and patting yourself on the back at times also um, with this energy being what may challenge you is you know early in life you may um, struggle with like as soon as money comes in it's going back out like you like uh, luxury you like um, enjoying you know all the things that life has to bring so learning some money management skills may be something that um, challenges you in your early years but you will master it absolutely Capricorn you will master it for sure and some of you um, what I'm getting is it's like you're born into like much more humble um, beginnings and it may take some time for you to really believe in yourself and what you're capable of when you look at your family and where you come from like you know can I really become this can I really achieve that and the answer is yes if you can dream it Capricorn you can become it no matter your age all right you are meant to manifest you are meant to um, immerse yourself in the material realm and really enjoy the humanized um, part of living uh, you know because life is human and spiritual right and uh 
you know, you, you have the spirit, uh, going on because here you are being shown to me as like, you know, the emperor, the emperor is like, you know, just a person of high status and power. All right. But you're also meant to really enjoy things like enjoy food, um, enjoy flowers and, and, you know, that enjoyment and immersing of the physical isn't just with like, you know, buying things. It's like nature, sunsets, the ocean, um, you know, beauty, you feel it. It's, it's part of you. There is nothing wrong with enjoying the physical aspect of living because you are just as much spiritual all right i'm um, having this uh prestige that spirit is showing me is from your soul evolution and many many lifetimes of you know sacrifice created this journey where you are meant for luxury for um you know success for abundance all right let's pull some more cards <clears throat> Emotions, strength, and walk your truth. Okay, um, with all of this, I do feel, Capricorn, that you may try to be more rational about things, all right? You do fill your heart, and you know when you need to act um, from an emotional perspective <clears throat> but this here is where you've got to tap into that spiritual side of yourself and believe in the unseen and tell yourself a million times if I can dream it I can be it I can make it happen because all the things that come to you all the ideas money making ideas um, ways of um, improving processes and procedures like all of that that's your soul wisdom and walk your truth Capricorn you are meant for success you are meant for abundance you're meant to be um, your own boss own your own business uh, create inventions you know rise very high in a company you um, possess great emotional intelligence as well as a deep deep intellect that is backed by so much soul wisdom and you have this strength about you in every capacity to get something done from start to finish where most people give up halfway through always believe in yourself capricorn all right let's pull some tarot hanged man so you're willing to sacrifice and that's neptune energy you're willing to sacrifice put in the time energy and effort to get something accomplished where a lot of people won't and that's why you're going to be incredibly successful page of a uh, page sorry two of pentacles don't know why i was trying to say page but that's jupiter and capricorn right there now we have the moon three of wands and six of cups okay so with this moon six of cups and this emotion um relationships may distract you at times okay if anything's gonna like prevent you from success is it may be like different relationships really distract you so maybe like in your younger years when you're really supposed to be Focusing on on like learning something studying and, and you desire that in your heart um, You give in and you're like I'm gonna go hang out with my friends because I want to be with my friends So it's like there's this conflict inside of you at different points in your life where um, you're called to do Something one way, but it's like well, you know, I want to do this and um, It's partly like Capricorn no matter what anybody says you be you you know, you be you. Your soul is always directing you. And what's good for, like, you know, everybody else might not be what's good for you. 
And so always be true to you and, and follow what calls you. And with relationships, like that's the only thing that I feel really can trip you up or um, kind of pull you off your path or make you question yourself is your connection to others. And that's just where you've got to be strong inside of you. You know what's right for you always, always, always. You will. You will know what's right for you. And no matter how much you admire, respect, love somebody else, you've got to follow your inner calling or you'll just feel out of balance. You'll feel out of whack. Um, with the hanged man, yeah, you are willing to do whatever it takes, whatever sacrifices need to be made to get something accomplished and, and um, make it reality. And you will. And with the moon coming out, um, you know, look to see what uh, house your moon occupies in your natal chart because that to me is like you have a lot of magic in that area of your life as well. So you have magic with money um, and uh, dreaming things into reality and that would coincide with the moon, right, when you sleep. Um, but look to see where your moon is, which house that occupies because spirit is saying that you have a lot of magic and power in that house as well. With the three of wands, your ships are always going to come in and it's going to come from your hard work and dedication. Like Capricorn, you are an inspiration for many. Like you are willing to put in whatever it takes to get the job done. Um, and you don't spare any detail. Like you are incredibly thorough. Um, let's pull some more cards. Pegasus of Spica. <clears throat> yes, you are a wise soul. Um, and this is right here about healing old wounds. So that goes back to the relationship thing. That is uh, like the only thing that gets you down. And you would say, well, isn't that the thing that would get anybody down? No, there's a lot of things in life. Um, it's like you guys will plow through, power through anything. But when your heart is hurt... It just kind of stops you in your tracks. And um, when that happens, Capricorn, just give yourself a minute to catch your breath. Because you will always regain your strength. Spirit wants you to know that. There is nothing that can happen to you in this life that can prevent you from your success and your achievement. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you will always get back up on your feet. And you will be bigger and better than before. Like... You are a, a house of power. Pegasus of Roses, you um, bring stability and beauty and order to all things. Relationships, situations, in the workplace. You are a very lovely person to know. All right, going back to that emperor and empress energy. The emperor, he knows how to um, lead. He knows how to lead a nation um, with strength as well as with compassion. And the Empress, she knows how to nurture and she knows how to love. And you embody both energies, whether you're male or female. And that's what you bring to all relationships and situations. And now we have Pegasus of Vega. So you got Pegasus of Spica and Pegasus of Vega coming out. And... This is about actions speaking louder than words. Um, you're very intuitive, Capricorn. Never underestimate your intuition. Because I do feel like as spiritual as you are, it's like I've got to see it to believe it. And, you know, there's no such thing um, as synchronicities. It's just a coincidence. Like some of you could be in that thought process. All right. Um, but Capricorn, you are so magic. You are so magic. Um, just know, like, when you are feeling that intuitive prompting, it's for purpose. Um, listen to that internal guidance. Um, because with this, the Pegasus of Vega, nobody can lie to you. They really can't. Like, you will feel the truth in all situations, okay? You will know. And sometimes maybe you think, oh, 
um, I'm just being paranoid or, you know, that's nothing. I'm connecting dots that aren't there. No, you are so wise. Always trust that intuition, okay? Um, and even over like relationships, like these emotional attachments, always trust that intuition and never doubt yourself and what you bring to the table. All right, so let's pull some more cards. connection, the biome. How perfect is that? Yeah, you are the master of this earth plane. You can manifest whatever you desire and you are meant to have a lot of luxury and comfort this lifetime, Capricorn. Absolutely. And you've earned it from past life evolution. And we have um, fluidity with the rain. And so, um, don't close your heart off. When you get hurt, Capricorn, don't close off. Allow yourself the healing, all right? You will always get back up on your feet. You will always um, be stronger than before, whatever gets you down or, or what sets you back. But don't close off that heart space ever, okay? Because um, that's part of the magic of you is the way that you know when you need to act upon the emotion of the heart and when you need to act upon the logic and uh, rationality of the mind. And now we have uh, solitariness, the desert. Very important for you to have your alone time, Capricorn. And maybe some of you um, feel like you would be just fine if you're single for all your days, okay? Because you are so independent and strong and you're very driven and you're determined to accomplish and make things happen. Um, you're not meant to be alone all your days, okay? And you guys might actually prefer um, solitude than like crowds and things, but you do need time to recharge your batteries, all right, when you're feeling really out of whack, when you're feeling down and, and just sad and um, not motivated and things like that, it's because it's time um, for a spiritual recharge of your batteries. And, um, you know, if there's certain relationships that are really overwhelming you or overstimulating you, pull your energy back and rebalance yourself and you'll gain a different insight and uh, have a different perspective of how to proceed forward. So when things are feeling out of whack, you need some you time, some alone time, okay? So let's pull some more cards. Let it out, let it flow, open up the heart to feel. And that's believing in the unseen, believing that you are magic, believing that you can accomplish anything you put your mind to this life journey, Capricorn. <clears throat> Next is time to move on, flow with the river, see where it takes you. And this goes back to the relationship things. Um, I don't know why, but I do feel like out of all of the things life can throw at us, it's there's something about different relationships that will just be hard um, for you. We all have hard relationships, right? Um, but that's like the one thing that just gets you um, is when your heart is broken, when somebody really just lets you down. It's hard for you to like forgive and forget and move forward. You can hold a grudge for quite some time. And, you know, Spirit is saying when you forgive, it does not excuse anybody's behavior. And forgetting doesn't mean that, you know, um, somebody has to come back into your life because you can forgive and forget, but that doesn't mean that the well isn't poisoned, you know, to where you can never drink from it again, right? And so it's like, um, those who hurt you, don't let that pain poison you and cut you off from future connections 
because there is meant to be a lot of love in your life and you bring a lot to the table Capricorn it is safe to let go you are surrounded by love believe in the unseen Capricorn believe that you are a part of something bigger and that you are magic you are like a, a master builder the divine mother and father the emperor empress energy all right um, success is your middle name for this lifetime dive into those energies let go and truly believe all right let's see what your heart has to say and just yeah don't close your heart heart off at all no matter what like it is such a beautiful energy and it's part of what makes you what you are love is oh my gosh love is what you are just as I say it there you go Capricorn heal those hurts nobody is worth separating you from the magic of the love inside of you you come from love let yes you do yes you do and see beauty in others and this goes back to that forgiving and forgetting um forgiving and forgetting doesn't mean that the well isn't poisoned it just means you're walking away from it and you're no longer going to drink from it when you continue to have like resentment in your heart and rehash over and over what somebody did to you you continue to drink from that poisoned well which poisons you and um, there is so much love that is meant to come your way this lifetime so much happiness so much success Capricorn don't let those bad situations steal from the future and all that life is going to bring to you in this journey all right so let's pull one final message we have earn it abandon your ego and work towards your goal one step at a time education virtue and diligence allow a soul's inner wisdom to manifest itself there is no no shortcut you must earn it and that is you capricorn this right here is the uh you know inspiration and message that you put out to others through the way you go about life and how you will do something from start to finish being incredibly thorough not uh, missing one single detail and um, the all the success you're meant to come into this life is earned from previous lifetime from you know past soul evolution and you will work very hard and create so much success for yourself this lifetime so those are your messages Capricorn I am sending you lots of love and light take care